no question of a biography. Absolutely, absolutely no question of a biography after I'm dead. That's what I have to say to that lawyer. The biography of a writer? Absolutely ridiculous. Who knows the first thing about anybody's life? Who could say anything remotely coherent about anybody else's life? Who could say anything remotely coherent about life in general? Did I write what I wanted to write? No, never. I wrote what I was capable of writing, not what I wanted to. All you ever do is what you're capable of. How can your complete works, your contribution added to the world, uh, and by the way, all the great laws of nature work on the principle of subtraction, how can your complete works be anything more than a mishmash of approximations of constantly shifting boundaries? Isn't the end result inevitable failure? Only anonymous writing can hope to avoid failure. All those idiots discussing their intentions, all those idiots shoveling out opinions. Not one of them who'll admit the whole thing slipped away. The material's uncontrollable, I can't remember the original idea, and all that's left is what came limping into port. All those poor buggers assessing their contribution to the world with furrowed brow. The great providers of opinions who turn up on the books programs. Oh, and you're not one of them, I suppose? Huh? No. What do you mean, no? No! I've never appeared on a books program. Never gone near a books program. No, no, only because you're a snob, old boy. You've done enough other things, lectures you've given, interviews, God knows how many, innumerable functions in your honour. And as for the knitted brow, well, no need to worry. Yours certainly is. Now, this minute, your brow is furrowed. <laughs>